like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars those following us online the lord bless you exodus chapter 5 verse 1 if i were you i would say amen before that scripture is open exodus chapter 5 and afterwards moses and aaron went in uh-huh and told pharaoh thus saith the lord god of israel read on let my people go stop he said go and tell pharaoh let my people i want them to go but i need a man i can't go and talk to pharaoh by myself go and tell pharaoh he says let my people go go and tell pharaoh that beast of a man who has held the lives and the destinies of men for 430 years he says go and tell pharaoh don't go and speak as though you are sending yourself you do not have any power in yourself but go and tell pharaoh thus saith the lord let my people go let my people go lift up your voice and pray in one minute and say lord whatever has held my life whatever has held my destiny please be serious tonight please the word of the lord go and tell pharaoh let my people go lift your voice and pray go and tell pharaoh go and tell poverty let my people go go and tell delay and hardship go and tell yokes and spells that have held the destinies of men for generation announce to them go and tell them let my people i acknowledge they are my people pray there is a reason why you are praying let my people go let my people go Let my people go. Zabros kato risha barianda kapras kalabadia. Libro zoso bredi ge shabratis kalabaria takuria sambradi shila. Exodus chapter ten, verse seven. Ten verse 7 we are reading down to 10 please hurry up media help us and pharaoh's servant said unto him how long shall this man be a snare unto you let the men go that they may do what this is the reason why they have to go there is a motif for liberty there is a motif for prosperity there is a motif for advancement he said let my people go that they may go and keep it their place and serve the lord their god then he says knowest thou not that egypt is destroyed read on next verse eight and moses said unto and moses and aaron were brought again to pharaoh and he said unto them go serve the lord your god but then he began to negotiate he said but who are they that shall go finally i have been persuaded but let's begin to talk who are those who will go verse 10 okay verse 9 leave it there and moses said we will go with our young come on our future and we will go with our old there must be restoration certain things that should have happened it says and with our sons and with our daughters and with our flocks and with our herd he said for we must hold a feast we are not going like fugitives we need to go triumphantly are we together now verse 10 
and he said unto them let the lord be so with you as i will let you go and your little ones look to it he says for evil is before you when you read on he began to negotiate he said let's allow the men go but leave the women moses said no way everything is going listen when god saves he saves to the uttermost he will not bring health and leave finances are we together now many believers have an attitude of negotiating with darkness let me tell you something when you mount pressure on satan he will release something small and let you go and then we get carried away out of 10 people in your family only one person now has a breakthrough and you are still satisfied moses said no we are going with our old we are going with our young you release my job but my health is still there they must all go it's the same command that affects everything are we together i came here angry tonight in my spirit oh. it's not as if some of us have not received breakthrough but the devil has deceived us with miracles so that you can no longer turn back and see that there are other things that have refused to move so he gave you a job and little did you know that the child has not come and time is running if god gave you a job can't he give you a child tonight is a night of dogged insistence everything if you release one every other thing must follow you can't release my brother's salvation and keep my father's own this night everything must go are you hearing what i'm saying please pay attention he says let my people go i don't just need them to serve me but a feast before me a feast is a sign of victory in ancient times when they won war they would gather the women and the young children and the victorious men would come with the head of the king or drag him together and they would sing blowing the shofar it's called triumph it was an and then all the spoils that they had gotten from the land they would bring it and as they began to dance the bible says in the multitude in the midst of multitude is the king's honor so they would gather slaves that came from that nation and they will come and like bow down to the king to show that we are yours now he said let my people go you can never truly serve the lord until you are released to go i want the people to serve me but as it is there are situations in their lives that cannot allow them to serve me are we together yeah so they say you have a medical condition you can't pray for 15 minutes you lift your voice something hooks you that's a pharaoh holding you you can't pray there's nothing you can do i've said it again you see people go to pray and the moment they they stand to pray the next thing they stop praying and they are moving around because of worry because of worry they cannot pray financial worries health worries are we together now we prayed for a woman in lagos during a program who had been pregnant for two years how many years two years every sign of pregnancy but the machine shows that she's perfectly fine her stomach is flat according to the machine is that a medical condition no sir life is spiritual remember spiritual intelligence life is what this pharaoh we are talking about is not just a man pharaoh is a spirit he uses men just like jezebel pharaoh is not a man the man pharaoh died the spirit pharaoh is still alive and there are many people under the bondage of pharaoh but not tonight not tonight the mighty god of israel will arise with an outstretched arm I, I told you what the Lord told me here while I was praying. He said, trust me and watch your situation turn around. It doesn't take time. It only takes faith. When you trust God, he will prove himself in a way that will surprise you. Tell my people. Please sit down. As always, you have a role to play. Everyone listen to me. The role you have to play is your commitment to serving God. 
listen 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 deliverance is not for you to leave egypt and live your life your own way at your own terms no sir he said let my people go that they may go and serve me listen write this down service is the greatest way to provoke judgment over darkness service thank god for prayer thank god for fasting next week we are going to start another powerful i will be sharing with you a very deep kingdom mystery next week service is the greatest way to provoke judgment the moment there was a willingness in the heart of the nation of israel to serve god listen god will not step in and break poverty in your life just because you are an adult it's too small a reason to see the hand of god this is where many christians authorize satan to destroy their lives are we together now come you are in bondage and you want liberty this is your place of destiny this is where you are egypt and the lord is saying there is a condition there is a state of heart you don't have the power to deliver yourself but you have the will to say lord i am committed to serving you but poverty is stopping me from buying books i want to buy the books are we together i can't pray because the rent is expired the landlord is not a spirit he's alive he's a real person he's coming tomorrow and god says you mean you want me to clear the way for you to serve me god says that's the kind of prayer that i like i say now the challenge with many believers hear me and this is where we strengthen satan listen carefully tonight our unwillingness to live for god and to serve him are we together versus his outstretched hand and his power to deliver us god wants to deliver us but the justification the basis upon which his hand will come upon us many of us disqualify ourselves because our motive for deliverance is not genuine there is only one motive one let my people go that they may do what go and serve me serve me they may go and serve me this has nothing to do with being a man of god please listen this has nothing to do with being a pastor this has nothing to do with being a pastor's wife serving god is the lifetime assignment of everyone what you call your job or any avenue is just a doorway let me tell you brothers and sisters it says i shall not die but why will i live but live and declare live and proclaim the justification for being alive and being victorious is a heart and a life that is committed to promoting the kingdom you are representing him and advancing the frontiers of his kingdom there is no devil strong enough to take your life it says many are the afflictions of the righteous the bible says but the lord delivered him from them how many affliction is not unusual are we together jesus himself said let us go to the other side and he met a storm meeting a storm is not a sign that you that um, you are not a christian jesus met a storm on the all-knowing god said let's go to the other side between prophecy and manifestation he met a storm so meeting a storm in your life is not the issue the storm overcoming you and making rubbish and nonsense out of your life is where your victory becomes questionable 